Today we're going to be going over exactly how I have my Hats on Blitz 30 caliber set up for home defense. What is up guys, McAfee Speed coming at you. Got a brand new optic on this thing. Now that it's 100% dialed in with the Air 15 tactical stock kit. I really wanna go ahead and get this thing dialed in all the way out to 100 yards for you guys so you know exactly what you're looking at as far as accuracy when you go for those engagements. As we have typically on this channel, I'm gonna go ahead and start with 25 yard range because I don't have a lot of confidence in my own skill set. We're gonna go ahead and shift it out to 50 after that point, all the way to the 100 yard mark to where I put the dot on the target at 100 yards and I'm hitting. Based on the fact this is a brand new optic that I've done no shooting with whatsoever, it pretty much could be anywhere from here to the moon as far as its actual sighting is concerned. I've got the hollow sun tool with me today, I've got the target set up at 25 yards, I'm not going to do a lot of talking, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm not going to do a lot of full auto though because this is my very last ammo box. I've got about 20 mags in here, they're all fully filled and that's all I got. So I got to kind of be picky choosy with my shots today. Not even all the same pellets, man. This is literally how low we are. It's like this random assortment of 30 caliber. Let's see if it works. All right. Works. Center target. Safety. Fire. I see low left. One more shot for verification. Yeah, low left, roughly low left. I'm cool with that. So we need to go to the right this much. More, it's not enough, more, that much. And then up some. Up, 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 up. Okay, good to go. Let's repeat process please. Safety and click, click. Better. More right, more up. Up. Right. Basically went half a turn on both of them. Just yeah. Safety. Click, click. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Just a little bit ambitious with that. Top right, diamond. Top left, diamond. Bottom right. Good to go. Can't really ask a whole lot more of that. Got like three shots left in this magazine. God, I'm so conscious of the ammo spending today. This is terrible, this is terrible. Cost prohibitive. Center target. Pretty good. Oh, there's probably one more in there. There we go. Unlike a lot of PCPs out there, the Hats on Blitz is definitely going to be one of those that does lock the bolt back and show you that you're out of ammunition as opposed to the dry fire that you find on the Terminator or the HPSS 30 series. Alright guys, we went ahead and handled business at the 25 yard mark. Pretty much sighted in as good as my skills will allow me. Let's move out to 50. Alright. This is where my eyesight is really going to start to bite me. 3x magnification, 50 yards, that's where I really start to lack. So we got a mixture of Vortex, Apex, and JSB. Low center. I'm bring it up a little bit. Like here. Then is down. Like, why do you need such a bright dot? It's 
pretty good. I can't see good. So for me, I do know for sure, without a doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that's pretty good for me, for my skills. I'm gonna move over to the right-hand side, splatter that target in the center a little bit and see exactly what happens. Let's go ahead and burst it. Fire. Hang up. Hang up. I don't care about double feeding this. Why is it not coming back far enough? And now we're out of ammo. So the classic hats on blitch mag spring fatigue issue definitely showing its face tier one. I think that that's something we have to take into consideration though. That's just air guns in general. Yesterday I went ahead and I put a regulator on my M50 rifle, right? I thought everything was going to be hunky dory. Get everything installed, air it up, now it leaks out of the fill port from the regulator. Get in touch with the manufacturer, they told me that's just air guns. I pulled everything back apart, replaced the O-rings, and ended up getting it to stop leaking. But honestly, with so many more variables than a firearm, these are the type of foibles that you'll have to work through, and if you're not willing to, you're just not an air gunner. Pretty happy so far with how this sight ends going. Let's double the distance out to 100 yards and see if we can get on the gong. Okay, this is gonna require some doing. Because I have to shoot literally under tree branches to get to the hundo. I think I just have to go back to the yoga mat that Up North Air Gunner hates so much. Now once again, gentlemen, the goal here is not like hole on hole, FX, bench rest, accuracy. The, the goal here is to put the dot on the target at 100 yards, not have to hold over and then connect. Then we'll backwards plan this thing, go back to the 25 yard mark and see what our math at 100 yards means to us here. All right. As predicted, I'm aiming at the top target there, and I expect to hit in the middle. Oh, well that helps me, geez. Should go back to the uh, precision shooting mode. I don't even know where that hit. But I think I do see a little, a little splatter in the center of the target below. Just where I said it was going to hit. Keep going. Mag issue? Okay, I think that the best thing for me to do because I'm blind as a bat is to just go ahead and use my cardio to my advantage, play to my strong sweets, and see what happened at 100. Now I could do a bunch of crazy math here, but I'm completely out of breath, so I'm just gonna give it a couple of good turns, and if I go over it, we're going back down. One half. One, one and a half. All right. All right. Aiming at the top target. I have no idea, bros, and it's such a long walk out there. I'm gonna try for the gong, and if I hit it, I'm sighted in. Are we over it? We are dead on it. I'm sitting here playing the holdover game. You watch my barrel go boop, boop, boop. All right, let's see what happens. Not terrible. Dot on, dot on gong, go. Out of ammo, super anticlimactic. Okay, prove it. Are you sighted? Don't know what happened.
guy. Yes. Yes. For my poor skill set and my ancient eyesight, that is really good for me personally utilizing direct aimed fire 100 yards away from me with a 30 cal pellet gun. That's pretty cool to me. And honestly, my skill set, considerably worse than those out there. So for me, this is a big accomplishment. I'm happy right now. I'm happy right now. The only thing I can do for you guys to take this one step further is go ahead and bring it back to the 25 yard mark and see what my math ended up being once I sighted in for the 100 yards. Let's get it. This, this specific review has gone pretty well. Fire. It's a little bit higher. I know that this is the last ammunition that I have, but it's literally that much fun. I've only gone through a few mags. So as long as I got like 10 mags to defend my house and family with, I'm good. And it was, I knew something was suspect. I'm like, it should be out of ammunition already. What is going on? The bolt is definitely sneaking past these extended magazines a little bit. Hats on did a great job bringing these to market, giving us double the foot pounds of energy availability in one magazine, but they still got a little ways to go, guys. I think it's gonna be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode, but if you like today's episode, give it a thumbs up. You wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. Hit that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like this video and you're absolutely vibing on the Air 15 platform that we've developed for you guys, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it, and I'll catch you boys in the next one.